Hey everyone, welcome back to more Spectra. Last time we explored more of the Himura planet and we ended up pressing two switches to hopefully unlock this new area over here. It seems to have done it. So uh, yeah, we've got this new area to explore today. And goddamn, well, if there's one thing I do have to admit is there is a lot of enemies just to face. I'm... I'm wondering if we can get like new fossils in this place. Like, is there any minerals in this area? It doesn't look like it, at least right now. Which is a shame. Seriously, nothing? Alright, well nothing yet. I'm I'm feeling a boss battle coming up. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Rylan, did you find something? As a matter of fact, I did. It looks like a hologram that shows both Himura and Mido. That's also a control panel of some sort here. Is it operational? I can give it a try. Hey, uh, what was that? Rylan, whatever you just did, do it again, and do it quick! Roger. How's that? I got it, I got it, that panel controls the orbit of Himura. What do you mean? We can actually change it? The ancients must have crafted this planet out of ice to use it as a lens. If we use it properly, we can bathe Mado a planet made in a powerful burst of sunlight. Give it a try, Rallen. Rallen found a control panel on planet Humura. Operate the control panel? Sure. I think we got it there. Like. All right, here we go. Rollin, I think you've done it. <clears throat> Himura is gathering sun rays and focusing on it, uh, the Mount of Mido. The black vortex are parting. To move away from the light, we clear a path through. Great, let's see our course for Mito quickly before this thing shuts down. We'll be waiting for you back at the ship. See you there. Huh? What is it? I find something that looks like a cube, but not exactly. I think it's something different. Bring it back to the ship. We can ask Aldous to check it out for us. Roger that. Rylan got the relic crystal. Oh, so is that all there is over here? Alright, I was expecting maybe that this was the start of a big dungeon, but eh, it being the end can also make sense, I suppose. Alright, let's just jetpack back to the ship. And honestly, we're now on to Mado. The final planet, right? I genuinely have no clue how like long this game will still be. Like, in my head, I'm assuming we're like 70% through. But I could we could also just be like... 90% through all I believe, right? I believe it's a relic crystal. It's an extraordinary item. It contains information about methods for summoning the ultimate form spectrobes. The ultimate forms of a spectrobe is the final stage of its evolution. However, you cannot obtain the ultimate form by simply training an evolved spectrobe. The key to the ultimate form 
is a dynamic and powerful one that lies sealed in a gem called Geo. A Geo? Where am I supposed to find one of those? Wait, there's more text inscribed here. It says that the Geo with the power to call forth the ultimate form is called the Flame Geo. It slumbers deep in a red spring atop the mountain of an innermost planet. You have to take the relic crystal to that spring to obtain the power locked within the flame geo. A red spring atop the highest mountain of an innermost planet in the star system? I've got it. It must mean the lava flows on the first planet, Genshi. That mu we must go there now. It may be the only way to obtain the power of the ultimate form. But what about Mado? The crawl swarm is here. It's right in front of us. This is true. But the ultimate form will surely prove to be a necessary asset in the battle against this army. He's right. Either way, we go to Mado or head for Genshi. It's really up to you, Gen Rallin. I'll go along with whatever you decide. Same goes for me, Rallin. You make the call. I have placed the data from the relic capsule in my escape capsule. I will leave the gem itself with you for safekeeping. Understood? Okay, so now they're literally just like, Hey, you want to do this last side quest or not? Which is interesting. I just assumed they wanted me to go there. I'm going to go there because obviously, right, you want to get get as much out of the game as possible instead of just like not doing like a 20% of it. So I guess we're going to plan the Genshi next. Aha, area two. If the geo is at the bottom of the red spring, it must be somewhere in the lava flows. The lava flows? How the heck am I going to find anything in there? Well, the relic crystal tells its holder to take to the spring to unlock the power of the flame geo. Perhaps this means that the relic crystal itself is very key to finding the crystal. That could be very well be. I'll carry it with me and explore a bit. Yeah, sure. Don't know if we... Uh... The one thing that's kind of... in. Interesting to me, or at least uh, it's kind of been weird to me, is we've used the Corona suit now, but we have not used the Aurora and Flash suits. And it kind of just feels like we're like one or two dungeons away from uh, uh, beating the game, you know what I mean? It just feels a little odd. Oh, there is a mineral over here. Also, I, I do not feel like facing as many battles. Alright, that's, that's looking pretty cool area, right? So surely there's also like a new spectrobe in this area, so... This makes me uh, at least keen on trying to like find a fossil, alright? That's not a fossil. It's a mineral. Ah, damn it. Kind of knew we weren't going to be able to dodge them all. Okay, you do significantly less damage to these guys. Alright, Villa Max, see what you can do. You're hitting one of them for really good damage. Hey, look at that. Oh, fucking hell, eh? These guys are strong and seem to be at least pretty strong against specifically, like, Aurora guys. Which makes me assume Flash is pretty good on this area.
Alright, <laughs> we're using Villa Locks now, that's pretty cool. Ah, damn it. Then he turns the wrong way. Let's just use our special move and we'll see what that'll do. Um, shame that, like, Spikador went from being, like, absolutely amazing to now just being kind of man this, this map. Let's, we might need to just get, like, a flash team here. Like, it's a fire area, so, like... You think you need Corona for like being able to withstand the heat, but maybe, maybe we'll do like a bait and switch and make Flash useful here because of the fire and like the Flash being the, like somewhat. It feels like Flash is kind of like just a water symbol in a way, or light. But then Aurora kind of feels like light as well, so. Who knows? We haven't found a fossil yet, and I would like to find one. Admittedly, all just feels like it's just a bunch of craters. Alright, nice. Here's some stuff. It's a Harupod. We already have the Harupod, but... Still, uh, interesting to know that the Harupod is in this area, because... Um, They're, you know, it's better to know that they're in like, multiple areas, right? Also, like, I'm keeping track of this stuff. Just to see what they're like. Of course, here's the Nagu pod, which is in every... It's just everywhere. Like, literally. Like, I'm just kind of looking at the Nagu pod, right? And the Nagu pod has been in, I think, every single planet. Outside of just like the the home base where I haven't really just explored at all. But the one thing that's pretty clear is that the enemies are quite tough here and Villanox is going to have to carry us through that. Because we really don't have that many strong Corona monsters. That being said though, considering that the Aurora monsters haven't done that much, I'm gonna assume Flash is strong against these dudes. It's just that like Mossax to me is uh, not the strongest attacker so to speak. He's pretty good, like he's a good nice support monster but his uh, attack is super inaccurate. And here we have Nagopod again but we don't need that. Well, there's something over here. It's another defense A. Oh, there's something over here. And another Haru pod. We well, haven't grinded up Haru, but then. Um, well, we will definitely be doing that in the future. Power A plus. It's just that I'm thinking of getting like a pair of two Coronas together and a pair of two Flash and a pair of two Auroras. So. Like, considering we already have our Aurora or a Flash pair, we have to kind of look at who to put together with who. Nothing. Oh, there's a fossil. Incapod, that's new. 
That is new. Do 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 do, and it has a um, what's it call it? A custom part as well. So we did find something new, which we'll probably go and unlock at the end of the episode. Segupod, sure. That's in here as well. Segupod, which has also been in like the first area, so that doesn't surprise me. I'm assuming most of the things that were in like area one or in area two. Alright, some more. Nagupod, don't need. Shaggy pot also don't need Hey pearls those are nice to sell Yeah, just like if you're playing this game if you if you ever find the pearls just sell them Because they're worth a crap ton and you get like no gura from the uh, crawls at all this it's a, a geji pod that's another new one cool we got two new ones here and with getting the geji pod I believe we're like three or so away from getting everything Like, no, seriously, I think I think we're uh, two or three uh, spectrobes away from having all of them. And uh, that's obviously really exciting. So what do we find over here? A uh, villapod. That doesn't surprise me at all. The villapod is in, like, everything as well. Two villapods. They're technically villipods, actually, not villa pods, but Oh, we destroyed that thing. An opal. Not like the opal is that good anyways. What we have over here? Okay, we can't pass that part. Huh? The relic crystal is glowing. The lava flows are stopping. I wonder if the relic crystal is causing this. The ultimate form must be incredibly powerful if it requires this kind of protection. The power of the relic crystal has stopped the flow of the lava, creating an open path. All right, now we're in like a jungle of sorts. Or we're back to like the jungle portion-ish. Oh, next area. Ooh, there's a big old four. Also very close to just like 
in the back and forth. So you can are very close between like entering the new area and leaving the new area. So hypothetically speaking, you can just come back and forth, back and forth here. Although so far it doesn't really particularly seem like the minerals are better here than in Hamura. So there is that and like I've noticed like I, I think I've said in the previous episode that like it seems like most fossil spots only have like a set two or three it can be. For instance, Dana Pod can only be on like very specific um mineral spots, right? Or I mean uh fossil spots. Alright, another battle. I guess this was bound to happen. Good job, uh, Villanox. Ah. Uh. All right, that's a wombo combo at least. Is there something over there we're hitting? Uh, yeah, we are. Let's kill that thing. Okay, Villanox is dead. Now we're in big trouble. Alright, at least this thing isn't doing terrible damage, so to speak. Alright, now I'm like, now this shit's super tense. Uh, that's great. At least we do 34 to them. So, we barely make it out of this alive. Ow. Boom, you're dead. Yeah, Brawlin is victorious! Alright, now we have to switch up our lineup. Okay, so my theory is saying that uh, these guys are way better. Or that, like, the Flash are good against these guys, so... Let's hope my theory is correct and they can just kick some ass in this map. Okay, I didn't want to test that theory instantly. Right, you, you, you can stop following me now. Ooh, another Inca pod or a Gagey pod. Gagey pod. Nice. Also has a custom part. Ooh, what's this? A sapphire. I think I'll try to get this one normally. My assumptions are that this thing will break the pieces if we utilize our uh, Giga, Giga Mine thing. That's interesting though. Uh, that thing's just up there, so not down here where we are. So we're safe from that thing at least.
I'm curious what the uh, Sapphire actually does. Like, does it give some ridiculous stat boots or is it just worth selling? Because most of... I'm assuming it's more of like a selling item, right? Like, I'm assuming it's just in the same sense of like the Pearl and the Platinum. Except the Pearl and the Platinum are quite common. And it's the first time we've ever seen the Sapphire. Samupod. That's a new one in here, but it is in the first area, so that makes sense. Alright, well now we're forced to go on top of there. And probably face that thing, which will probably either kill us, or we... have the sweet relief of destroying it, however, I'm gonna assume we probably die there. Alright, there's one individual one here, which makes me assume this is like... It's the legendary shop pod. It's just the legendary shop pod, right? Like, why is shop pod? It really does stand here like it looks like it's some kind of like secret um, spectro, right? Like Dana pod or something, right? But then, nope, it's just the most common one of all, shop pod. Okay, well, now you're over here. Why must you miss everything? Like... How does that not hit? Why does this thing purposely aim like... This thing aims terrible. I've, I've used that attack like 20 times and I've missed 20 times so far. Six damage, okay. Fairy has been very much debunked. It does seem like... like I, it's either that or this thing just has horrendous attack. That could also just be a thing. And like, Spike and Aura is doing like 150 to other people and 50 to these guys, so... Presumably, that's also not the deal. But we can give it a little check. If you know, you hit. Okay, I guess he just didn't feel like hitting there. Didn't do that much to the flash monsters. It seems like it did like one damage. And oh god, you're slow as shit. Yeah, our tank is not very fast. We should make, like, it's close to evolution, so there's at least that going. He's got that going for him. whole one damage at least the boys have some defense going for them but then like I feel like the opponent's moves are so inconsistent when damaging us like sometimes they just do like 20 damage right and then suddenly they'll do with the same attack will hit us for like 180 and we're like what but why congratulations you missed completely so like all things considered, right, Mojax has an attack that has like an accuracy of 5%. Is it just that I'm bad there or is it just that that move is so unholy inaccurate? Got a super serum. Alright, I think I'll get um, these last 
fossils and then I think I'll fly back and probably reassess the team a bit but we got one last Inca pod before we go which is nice Fifty percent minerals, custom parts like that, nice. For the rest we got okay that one apparently we can't do it on the topaz for whatever reason. The topaz is like no. Alright, let's fly back, because we're in a pretty rough state. And I think moving forward, we probably are going to need more, uh, like, evolved forms. But it does seem like Corona is the uh, strong element, uh, at least um, against these monsters on this planet. It just feels weird that we haven't found like a place that we needed the flash suit for or the aurora suit for. All right, let's just awaken the little boys up. So we can start off with the Inca pod. Uh, okay, now my mic isn't working for whatever reason. This is so strange. Like, why isn't it suddenly working? Like, it was literally working. Like, 15 minutes ago. Can we do it like this? No, it doesn't count like that. That's really stupid. That's really stupid. Like, that's stupid. Why doesn't it work suddenly? Suddenly, my mic does not work. Isn't that fantastic? Let's go into fucking settings then. Let's just do blow noises. Alright, that doesn't work, so we have to put in color. I don't know if this is the normal how it looks, but here we go. We got one of them. We got that thing, Gen, Gen Scalpain. And the Incapod. I think this one we should be able to do normally, yeah. There's a fire feller. Alright, the rest will do off screen, but uh, now we, we've got four little... Little new spectrobes that we need to, uh, like, grind up. Other than that, we'll probably, like, grind up, like... Komamoto and Samurai together for like the next episode and maybe even Albasar and uh, and uh, Dongora at least all like their evolution level so that we can get uh, some strong Corona monsters because at the moment I well, we got Villanox and the other one but looking at how much we're actually missing we're missing just uh, two Spectrobes like, we're just missing two of them. For the rest, we've got at least the first or second stage from everything. So yeah, everyone, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!